The party begins now. Verbal Transformers is in the house to set the tone for Father's Day. And then, hey, King Calf is sit already sitting down with the man boy. And so, yeah, Verbal Transformers, you have our eyes and our ears. Thank you, Na. Na, I mean, okay. I'm feeling cool. <laughs> All right, so um, this morning we celebrating Father's Day in advance. But listen here. You know what, it really saddens my heart that today I'm standing right before you on a national television and I tell you something very nice, but it's very pathetic as well. How come Mother's Day matters most to people and Father's Day is just left dry? You see, no matter how bad a man is, even when he dies, his obituary is not painted black. Neither are the tributes of this very man full of his crimes, no matter how many times if he's made lies bitter in his, in his society. Even many go as far as seven us with a biography of good lines, good vibes, of true lies, of this very man who lived a very bad life. So I say once again, no matter how bad a man is, when he dies, his obituary is not painted black. So why then? Today I ask so many questions like, why would... You actually paint a good picture of a man when he's dead. Is it that you have high value for the dead over the living? If you could save the image of the dead, why couldn't you save the image of the living while he was still alive? Why couldn't you paint a good picture of this very person? And you wait until this, this person is very gone out of our society. But you know what? Just as I said, there are so many questions to ask. But no Ebusiampeni is ready to be in the hot seat to answer these very questions. They are not ready to speak facts. So I ask you also, today as we hear, how bad has your dad treated you that you cannot forgive him? That you allowed hatred and bitterness to have driven you all these years, killing you, taking you farther away from this father who is supposed or destined to be blessing you, not cursing you, and always regretting of ever producing you. How bad is this dad of yours? Are you also waiting for him to die before you show him fake love? Know you not that the only opportunity to forgive someone is when the person is alive. Don't you know that when the person loses his final breath, you cannot forgive anymore, not even when he or she is laid in state. So I tell you, Sunday is the date. Father's Day is coming up. It might be your only opportunity to reunite with your dad. And I see. If our mothers are truly loving, then they should tell us of how good our fathers are. Mothers, if Mother's Day matter, then Father's Day matter too. You know why? Because you need to project not only the negativities of our dads to us, children, and everyone here asks, why then would we always say, my mommy is the best in the world. What happened to our fathers? What happened to your husbands? On this very day, I say, it is very pathetic. That we offspring are supposed to actually rectify the ills in our families, not to rather be the ones who carry or catalyze the diabolic reaction of hatred and bitterness in our families. We are the ones to make it right. So let's not listen to the stories that we are being told. You know why? In our families, let us dwell in the word of God because the word of God is light. The word of God is love. So no matter the stories we are being told, let us pause and ask. Let us ask the old ones that and a hatred, whether it has profited them over the years, even until now, then it will tell us that we need to make sure that love travels, because love is light. When Shun eradicates totally the darkness in the lives of people, love actually looks around and sees to the needs of people. Love is in self-centered. Today is the only day you have an opportunity to call your dad. I tell you, no matter how bad your dad is, listen, he be bad man, no, they mean say he be the baddest. People are still forgiving their dads out there. Sunday is the date. Oh dear, you can even call your dad now. Say, hello daddy, I'm sorry. He will say, my dear, don't worry. Oh daddy, me smobo, me smobo, eh. Then you are re you're reuniting and causing a significant change in your family. Happy Father's Day to all conscious and responsible fathers out there. And fathers, make sure that you live to your duty so that Father's Day will matter next year. Thank you and God bless our homeland Ghana. God bless the president. Father's Day. Thank you.